What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another MLB Hi Fi video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. Speaking of that, I will be randomly choosing the winner from last week's videos and posting their name down in the comment section when I get finished with this video. All right, so when you're watching this, scroll down to see if you are the winner, if you commented on any last week videos, and I appreciate you. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me, man. Last week was another really good week, man. We've been on a nice little streak once again. We went on that huge streak last month where we damn near won every day of the month. We maybe lost three to five times total the entire month. So that was a huge month for us last month. And then so far this month, we've been smashing again. And we're on another streak. I believe we're going for like five in a row. So, I mean, we're already back on another streak. It feels great. I'm feeling locked in still. Um, I'm excited for NFL season because it's going to be amazing. Uh, go hit up. Make sure you hit up greenlightdfs.com to join the squad for any of our packages. NFL season long early bird package is on the site right now. So if you know that you're going to play majority of the season with us, might as well grab that season long package right now at greenlightdfs. Also, um, with the MLB package that you do grab, you do get optimizer access, so make sure you take advantage and you play with the optimizer. The uh, the projections on the optimizer are GPP based. You will see me possibly talk about people whose projection might not be super high on my list. That's only because I expect them to be high owned, or and I want to like pivot off of that high ownership for a different way. That's why their projection might be lower because I want them to pop up less when playing GPP than I would want them to be played in cash. And I promote cash. I, I like my people to play majority of their bankroll every single day in single entry double ups. That is what I promote when it comes to my actual lines. I promote consistency. For our optimizer, we built it for upside only. Okay, so it's just going after the top spot every single night. All right. All right. Anyways, I'm going to get straight into this. Wait till the end of the video so that we can hit our home run predictions and let's go ahead and get it. Starting off at pitchers. So I love Freddie Peralta, but there's big time weather concerns in this game. So I'm not going to put any Milwaukee or Chicago in the high five. But if for some reason this game is going to play and the weather clears up and looks better by we get closer to game time, I want a ton of Milwaukee. All right, I'll be real with you. I want a ton of Milwaukee. Milwaukee's my favorite stack on the slate if this game is, in fact, going to go. So as of right now, it's not looking great. But as we get closer, if the weather's looking better, I want a shit ton of Milwaukee. I'm going to make that be known right now. But in the high five, I'm not going to put any Milwaukee Chicago solely because the weather is looking really bad. And as of right now, it's looking like a possible rain out. So I don't want to really put too much into that game as of right now. But last last time I'm going to say this, if the weather is good, I love Milwaukee. All right? So because I can't play Peralta, I'm going to go Lucas Giolito and Joe Musgrove. Joe Musgrove is overall my favorite pitcher on the slate, um, and it's not particularly close. I love Joe Musgrove, um, and Lucas Giolito is in a fantastic spot as well. Musgrove, let's talk about Musgrove first. Musgrove's going against the Miami squad that strikes out 27% of the time versus righties. They've been striking out a ton. Joe Musgrove is at home in San Diego, which is a pitcher-friendly ballpark. It's a fantastic position for Joe Musgrove. I love him here against Miami. And because I can't get Peralta, who is my favorite SP2 if that game is going to play dry, but if not, Lucas Giolito's going against Minnesota that strikes out over 25% of the time versus righties. It's a solid. It's a team that strikes out a solid bit against a guy who strikes out a lot of guys. 30% strike out rate versus lefties 29 versus righties plain and simple he keeps his ad, uh, opponent's averages under like 230 batting average so that's great on either side so people just don't really hit him too well he has those games though where he does get blown up like he did last game against Kansas City he got minus three but he also has those games where he can get you 38 39 40 you know what I mean so he's got a lot of upside and I like the matchup here against Minnesota my next favorite stack will probably be Cincinnati there's a lot of these Cincinnati bats that really stick out to me. I'm going to talk about a two right now. I'm going to talk about India, and I'm going to talk about Castellanos. Castellanos is probably my favorite bat on the entire slate. This dude is a lefty masher, bona fide lefty masher, hits with a ton of power, hits, just gets on base a ton. He's just amazing versus lefties, and we all know that by now. And he's only 4K, which is just criminal, all right? Then the plus side also is he's going against Hentages, Hentages Hent Jizz, however you say his name, for Cleveland, who just gives up a ton of power, a 366 batting average versus opponents, and the wind is blowing out 10 miles per hour in this game. So this is a great spot to get bats, and I love Castellanos. 
with the righty-lefty matchup against Hendridges with the wind blowing out. All right. Jonathan India. Let's talk about him now. India is a guy with a 367 batting average versus lefties. He gets on base, plain and simple. He doesn't have a ridiculous amount of power, even though he can get you home runs, for sure. He's got like, I'd say like four home runs in the last seven games or so, or eight games. So, I mean, he's got a decent amount of power for sure, but he's a guy that just gets on base. You know what I mean? In a, in a sport like baseball DFS, where you just don't want to zero pretty much out of your batters. I mean, India's only gotten zero a few times all season. So he's a, in a fantastic spot here, righty-lefty. I think he's got huge upside today, and I'm predicting at least another home run here because, I mean, he could even possibly have a huge game like he did against the Mets July 30th and go for, like, 20-plus, easy, 25. You know what I mean? So India's really a guy I'm interested in. So India and Castellanos stick out to me for the Cincinnati stack that I love. News is I don't even have him in here right now because I have to put him in because he's been out. But Luis Robert, I'm just going to talk about him. I can't plug him in because I have to add him to the slate. But Luis Robert is expected. There is news saying that he is returning to action today. He should be back in the lineup today. Uh, obviously, keep an eye on this. But if Luis Robert is back in the lineup, lefty-righty against Burroughs, fantastic matchup for him. It's a great spot for White Sox in general, so I'm really interested in some White Sox as well. And Luis Robert will be back in the starting lineup at only 3-4, probably batting in the heart of this White Sox order in a high total. So Luis Robert, I love him at 3-4. And like I said, I can't put him in the in here because I don't even have him on the thing yet. I don't even have him, have him in the optimizer yet, and I'll have to add him in a little bit, okay? So, let's switch over to Fando. That's Giolito, Musgrove, India, Castellanos, and Luis Robert is the high five for DraftKings, all right? Over here on Fando, let's clear this out from last time. All right. Over here on FanDuel, Musgrove is my overall favorite pitch on the entire slate. So I'm going to go Musgrove at 9K. I'm not going to overthink that too much. I love that spot for Joe Musgrove. Going to the hitters. Um... Let's see. We definitely want to check out our Cincinnati guys. How much is Castellanos over here? Castellanos is 3-6. I definitely want him. I think he has a huge game today. Definitely need me some Castellanos in my life. Aloy Yaminez is 3-1. Um, once again, Luis Robert will be in play over here as well. I wonder how cheap he's going to be over on FanDuel. I have not checked that, actually. Let me see. See if I can possibly find Luis Robert. But let's keep going. Um. So, yeah, Castellanos for sure. I love Eugenio Suarez at 3-1, getting you another piece of that. And then if this game plays, man, you have to play Christian Yelich. If this Milwaukee game plays, you have to play Christian Yelich. All right, but I'm going to finish it off with Jose Ramirez because I love Jose Ramirez as well here in this matchup because a lot of people might fade Jose Ramirez here in this matchup because it's Luis Castillo. Because it's Castillo, a lot of people might avoid it because Castillo is known as a solid pitcher, a decent pitcher at least. So they might not think about Jose Ramirez. I like the fact of getting Jose at low ownership. At 4-1, I mean... I wish he was a little cheaper, but at the end of the day, I think he's going to have a great game, and I think he's going to be low-owned as well. By no means am I locked on him. I mean, there's plenty of other ways that I could see myself going today, especially with Ramirez being priced up like he is. But plain and simple, Ramirez at low ownership is always a good way to go in a plus matchup, and he's done okay versus him in his career. So Jose is in a solid spot. So I'm going to go Musgrove, Suarez, Castellanos, and Jose Ramirez as the core over on Fan Duel. Now, Time for the home run predictions, y'all. All right, let me pull up my home run predictions. Make sure you drop that like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, make sure you hit up the site, greenlightbets.com. If you're in a state that can bet on games, definitely join us over there. We've lost once out of the last eight bets. Um, so we've been hot as of late for sure. And overall, we're about 65 to 70% win rate still. We're hovering right around that area since we started doing it. So it's been a lot of fun. So greenlightbets.com if you want to get in on betting on games individually. Um, all right. Home run predictions. Let's get it. So let's start off with Castellanos. You guys know I love Nick Castellanos today. Uh, he's in a fantastic spot. Anytime this dude is fa facing off against a lefty, I'm interested in him. Plain and simple. All right. So he's definitely a guy that I'm interested in. And let's see. Who else did I put down here? Open it up. All right. A lot of Milwaukee is high on my list today. Uh, I'll be honest with you, but we're not going to talk about much of them. I'm going to go Aaron Judge. As another one, so Castellanos, Aaron Judge, Joey Gallo. I really do love, I think New York is in a fantastic spot as well, the power bats. So Judge, 
going to say Aaron Judge, Joey Gallo, Nick Castellanos, mm. Aloy Jimenez. I think Jimenez gets one. And let me go Robert getting one as well, just out of just fun because he's low owned and I'm going to have a ton of Luis Robert and he's got a ton of power and he's seen a great matchup lefty righty. I think he comes back with a bang here in his first game back. So those are the home run predictions. Thank you guys for joining me as always, man. Good luck. Greenlightdfs.com. Join the squad. Greenlightbets.com to join the squad for the game bets if you're in a state that can bet on games. And then gldbreaks.com if you're interested in sports cards. We will be live at 7 p.m. Central tonight breaking cards as always. See y'all there. Peace.